What's up, everyone? Hello. Do you remember this guy? His name's Jeremy. Jerps93 yeah. on YouTube. Got new glasses. He's got new glasses. He kind of look. They make his make him look like a baby. A baby with glasses. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So it's been a couple months. I want to say, or almost two months. Um, yeah. <laughs> garage sales. I know I've mentioned they just have not been a big thing in our area for a little while. It seems like people didn't want to go out in the hurricane, you know, and sell stuff, or in the hot, hot heat, or when I was on tour, or anything. It was kind of hard to garage sale yeah. that then, but anyways, we are back, and we are going to try to find some stuff uh, for ourselves and for you to view. Uh, I guess that just means we should get the car moving. Yeah. Let's, let's move the car. Here we go. Look at that giant candy corn. We are, we are at a garage sale, but the candy corn was way more interesting. At the uh, sale, where is it? My fingers over right over there. You can see them. Move your head. There we go. That guy's butt right there. Um, <laughs> for uh, fifty bucks, picked up a bag of sixty-four stuff. Ooh. Kind of interesting because they said that they had posted this online. I'm not sure if they meant Craigslist or or where. And they were asking a hundred dollars, and no one bid at it. And they, they said they were trying to do it for like a month. And it's definitely worth a hundred dollars. Like if that was like the lowest they would go, I would have bought it. They, they did fifty bucks because they thought no one wanted this stuff. Uh, go ahead and rattle through the games. Top Gear Rally, Excite Bike 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Golden State Gold, Gold, Rampage, World Tour. We got Wave Race, Super Mario, Mario Kart 64. Those are the two best ones in there. I think. A green controller. And a green controller. The cables are in there. And nice then and it's just a, a normal charcoal gray with a, a jumper pack, no expansion pack. But for 50 bucks, and the fact that no one even made offers apparently at $100, wherever they posted that, yeah. it's crazy. Jeremy just scored the find of the century. Jeremy, what did you get? Uh, Prince Interactive. You get to play with Prince. It's a PC game. I've never heard of it before. $2. I gotta know if you get to eat waffles with Prince or something. Right over at this sale, uh, they had actually a decent amount of games. Unfortunately, it was like Disney Infinity and uh, they had some Skylander stuff. But they did have a few PSP games. The system, the kids said, uh, sadly, uh, that's been destroyed. <laughs> so I picked up Secret Agent Clank and a Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, 50 cents each. Not terrible. I mean, good price for them at least. Jeremy. Yeah. I picked up Nintendo games at the garage sales. Actually, I know this guy. We've done deals before. He's actually called me in the past. But you can see there are games. I don't know if can you can you see them on the table? There's a table over there. It actually, has more Nintendo games on it. Uh, he only wanted a few bucks each. Gunsmoke. Uh, what do we got? Air Fortress. Legendary Wings. We got a boy and his blob. Unfortunately, that's probably the worst one. It has some of the name cards into it. Feaster's Quest. The Dick Tracy and a bump and jump, which is funny because I actually went over a bump earlier today and said bump and jump when we went over it. Um, it was uh, 18 bucks total for all those. That's, that's, a that's a deal. And it was funny because a lady said at another garage sale, Steve, Sean? And I'm like, uh, Scott? She goes, Scott, yeah, there's a garage sale down the road that has some games. And I was like, oh, and it just turned out to be someone I know. So it's you get your name out there people will you know, I even know that guy that guy that's walking up to the garage show right now over there in the blue shirt I don't know if you can see him I know that guy too you know I know everyone around around here <laughs> had to run back to the car real quick to get the camera but uh that bin that's the score of the day yeah. you can see some some Nintenders in here throw it throw it on the hood real quick the sale right over there 30 bucks 30 bucks and right on top pick that bastard up <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ninja Gaiden 3. Too. There's the Ninja Gaiden's definitely the best one. I'll go through all the games at home. There's uh, I saw this and I was like, oh my god, but I noticed it with the Taito version and it's the other one that's worth like $80. I didn't know. Two different versions. Uh, no controller? I don't know. I kind of just, when I saw 30 bucks, I don't know why this is still out there at 10.50 in the morning, but great score. Jeremy scored some dope stuff, <laughs> as, as he called it. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get? Yeah, NFL pillowcases. How much? Is from the 90s or a, buck. a buck for a couple pillowcases. Goosebumps pack. Spooky. There was a Goosebumps book. Uh, one like I think it's Night of the Jack O' Lantern, something like that. It was my favorite one. It was about Halloween night, going trick or treating. Uh, I loved it. I probably read it like 50 times. And then you got a rug wrap blanket. Fucking rug. That's a really nice yeah, blanket. It's three bucks. Three dollars. So what? Four fifty total. Yeah. 
Score. Dropped by one of my favorite Cash America pawns. Picked up. They had some 64 games. They had more, Jeremy, and they're all gone. Yeah. This is what was left, basically. Uh, but he wrote the prices on the back. I ended up paying 30 for all of this, but he originally had 7 bucks, 5 5 and then this was 8 that he did for 5 Basically, they ended up being all $5 a piece, roughly. That was 10 for the Pokemon uh, Explorers of Time Mystery Dungeon. And then uh, a Tetris Party, he had 3 on. But if we do an average, $5 a piece. I had to catch this real quick for proof. I ran to the car. I'm getting a boxed Nintendo up there. There she is. <laughs> She's pretty. She's in really nice shape. $20. $20. And it came with uh, Bases Loaded 2, the uh, Kings of the Beach, got a double dribble, a X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, and an off-road. There you go. And that, 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 I think that almost might be better than the one below it. Fuck <laughs> you. This doesn't happen very often where I drop $250 at a pawn shop on one and two bags full of goodies. Hold up the receipts. There's the proof. Yeah, 250 yeah, bucks. Yeah. At, uh, we were in there for a long time, but there are there are Nintendo games, there Game are Boy, Wii U, PS4, all, Xbox One, all okay, types of stuff. This we'll have to go through at home, but uh, good day, very nice, very good day. Garage sale, Steve. It's the official uh, song, it's a little slogan for you. The song sucks. Okay, let me try it. <laughs> Garage sale, Steve! Jesus, it's more like a corn sound that, to it. I, I, I can't do that. <laughs> rub a dab Steve! There we go. <laughs> That's it. Good. I like that. So, uh, I'm getting a, a Mortal Kombat Trace, a Lemmings Manual, just picked up the box. It's like you knew. What a coincidence. It's like you, you know? knew. And then some paperwork that goes inside the Flintstones NES game. Which one? The cheap one. Yeah, the cheap one. Um, it was 25 bucks for the three of those, but the manual was super crisp, and like I said, I just picked up the box, so that is complete now. Uh, are you having a good day? Is the garage sale going good? I've made a lot of money, and uh, I hope to make more. That, yep. That, Jeremy he, may give me a dollar on a... For free? Oh, he pe Jeremy picked up Uncharted 4 for five bucks. Currently, we are following this green truck in front of me to a house that supposedly has a bunch of boxed NES games. Uh, excited? Really, this doesn't really happen. No one ever takes us to the other house, so uh, it's only a few blocks away from where we just met them at a garage sale. I don't even know what to say. Uh, it was a good day. It was a crazy day. So to end that last clip, we were driving down the road. He lives on my street. He lives like a block and a half away. And we get there, we dig through a bunch Shit, of... Shit, ton of boxes. Ton of boxes. Couldn't find the systems, but he found all of the boxed games, so this is what I just picked up. Uh, it was 200 bucks, so not a dollar piece or yeah. anything. But if you look, I mean, there's Dragon Warrior 2 complete in box. There's, uh, Fantasy, King's Quest. Yeah, there's a King's Quest 5, there's a Final Fantasy complete. Final and Fantasy 3. Complete, as in all of the maps, everything in bags. There's a Final Fantasy 3 on Super, a little Dragon Warrior 4. There's a Zapper gun. Brand new Zapper. He knew, he knew what that was. <laughs> so... I'll, I have so much to show you, um, but I wanted to get... Where are you hiding? There you go. Big Papa Stubbs here. Hasn't been on a video in a couple months. Uh, we, we only have a few things to show yeah. him that Jeremy picked up. But we always like getting the reactions. That's what people really want to see. We well, got some NFL pillowcases. Burn them. Burn them? Is that not a touchdown? No. Oh, okay. got a Rugrats blankie for sleepy time. That's pretty... That's where... Oh, we got, we got a nod. That's pretty dope. Three bucks on that. Goosebumps hat? Are you? Did you ever? Uh, did he ever read the Goosebumps books? I didn't he probably read them bought them. I bought them for him, but I don't know if he reads. <laughs> Do you know how to? Read? I can read. <laughs> Prince the video game. That's cool. There. That's the first time I, I hate, think. I hate Prince. Okay. Or right, never. All right. I, well. A video game of Prince. That's weird. I think you just wander around his house. <laughs> Uncharted four for five bucks. Yeah. yeah. I could care less. That's a video game. He yeah. doesn't. It was a good, tiring day. I'm going to take a nap. And we had, for lunch... Five guys. Five guys. Burgers and fries. Good. Uh-oh. Sorry. No, we didn't have that. We oh, didn't have that. shit. I'm going to go inside, and I'm going to show you all this crap, because <laughs> this is this is beyond of an epic day, for sure. Uh, it's been insane. Say bye, guys. Bye-bye. See ya. This turned out to be such a strange, amazing day. 
I have not had a garage sale find like this in so long. If you've been watching the channel for a while now, you know that they've kind of been lackluster and it's been more about pawn shops recently. I honestly haven't had like a day where I felt like this probably since before we moved into this house. So it's been a few, well, at least a couple years. But like three years ago, four years ago or so, I could go out and at least once a month have sort of like a day like this and that's just not the case anymore for obvious reasons you know more people collecting or selling stuff online whatever um but this was insane um i have a lot to show you obviously katie is not here tonight she had to work really late at the zoo and they're doing like a late night halloween thing going on for october so before i show you all this stuff which is a lot to go through uh we're gonna do the random game giveaway i have the shitty uh snaggle fruits and I have Mr. Tickle attached to a hatchet for some reason. I don't know. I'm weird. Uh, <laughs> it kind of looks like bondage. But um, we're going to do the drum roll on Mr. Snagglefruits here with Mr. Tickle on the hatchet. Here we go. The winner of this week's random game on whatever system they want, hatchet to the crotch, is Uncle Boogeyman. Congratulations. I almost threw this. That would have been bad. Congratulations, Uncle Boogeyman. Thank you for watching. Please send me a personal message here on YouTube or preferably on the Facebook fan page. The link to that is in the about section down below. Let me know your shipping address and what system you want the random game to be on. And I'll have that mailed out to you in the near future. Um, and I guess, you know, hey, there's a game giveaway starting right now. All you have to do is be subscribed, thumbs up the video, and leave a comment down below. It's that simple. Uh, comment can be about whatever you want. I didn't really think of a, a good... Uh, comment suggestion for this episode so hey here we go <laughs> i'm holding a weapon right here um in video games what's your favorite weapon to use uh is it like melee stuff or is it guns um what do you like killing things in video games with or if it's like mario you like jumping on things with your feet or your ass or however you know you see mario landing on things Anyways, there's your suggestion, but you can leave a comment about whatever. Just be subscribed, thumbs up the video, leave a comment down below, and you have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this coming Friday to enter. And the winner is always announced in the following pickups video like this. Um, as I get started to show you things here, go check out the last VGS episode that I just uploaded a couple days ago. If you're viewing this the, the day this goes up. Um, it is from Retropalooza 5 in Texas, uh, Arlington, right outside of Dallas. Really good episode, like 28 minutes long. I know it's kind of long, maybe watch it in a couple parts. But lots of cool people. Mike Matei from uh, Cinemasker from you know, Angry Video Game Nerd is in it. Talked to him for a little while. So really cool episode. Go watch that. Um, first things up, didn't see this while we were out hunting today. Last pawn shop we went by right before we went uh to that one garage sale where we got all the box and the s stuff um this was stickered okay so first i gotta point out reset reset buttons jam gotta get that fixed gotta open this sucker up um it does not have the ice blue controller it actually doesn't even have a uh, name brand 64 controller off brand but it has the cables they originally wanted 50 bucks uh, there you go for it uh I know, of course, I know every friggin' person at a pawn shop around here by now, um, but the guy I was dealing with, I said, when I go to sell that to somebody, they're going to want the actual Ice Blue, you know, controller. They're not going to want an off-brand, uh, so he haggled with me on the price. We ended up doing 35 bucks for it, so that's, that's a great price for basically if you're just even buying the system. At least it came with cables and a junky controller, but... Um, that pawn shop uh, pickup I got for 250 bucks. Lots of things. We're going to go through it kind of quick. One thing that's missing here is Mad Max on PS4, which went to Jeremy. Uh, we have Persona 4 Arena, PS3, a Mortal Kombat X on Xbox One. This was an odd find. Ease the Ark of... Damn it. Nepishtim. Nephis... Nephishtim. God, I don't, I don't even want to try that one again. <laughs> Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on the Wii U. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V. We have some of these, obviously, you can see they originally, they had a price on it. He just kind of ignored that and made up his own price. You know, took 50% off of a lot of things or more. Uh, Last Guardian. We've got Mortal Kombat X on PS4. I deal with this gentleman at that uh, pawn shop a lot. Star Ocean Last Hope. And uh, he has hooked me up every single time. I've mentioned him. He's an older older guy. Uh, and 
I love them. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, uh, Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo, we got Super Mario Galaxy 2, a new Super Mario Bros on the Wii, and a copy of uh, Zelda Wind Waker on Wii U, and got some Game Boy games, uh, Battletoads, I, they had so much stuff, such an interesting variety, Batman on Game Boy, um, that it almost feels like this, a lot of this stuff was sitting in the back for a long time and they just brought it all out at once. Spider-Man 2 on Game Boy, uh, Primal Rage, we got uh, Turtles that Fall of the Foot Clan, and not one, but two N64 controllers, both you know name brand ones, and both of them have memory cards in them. We have a bunch of Nintendo games, uh, Wizards and Warriors, Ikari Warriors, uh, Section Z, and there you can see, we got uh, Wizardry, uh, just the first Wizardry, and Tecmo Bowl, a copy of Metroid, 1942, where else we got, uh, Kung Fu, I think all the NES games end up just being a, a couple bucks each, Gradius, Gumshoe, a Tingen Pac-Man. I basically grabbed every NES card that they had. Hogan's Alley. They have a copy of uh, Super Mario 64, which was just thrown into the deal. They originally wanted 25 bucks. He just threw that in at, towards the end. And a large amount of DS games and some Game Boy Advance stuff also. There's a copy of Pokemon Black, a uh, Metroid, the classic NES series. Fortunately, as I was digging through all their games that they now put in these little baggies, some of the bags were empty. Um, there was like a Minish Cap that was not there, and a Smash Brothers on the uh, 3DS that wasn't there either. Donkey Kong Country, uh, Rain Pokemon Ranger Guardians, uh, Conquest. We have White... A Plants vs. Zombies, a uh, Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, Pokemon Platinum, <clears throat> a Pokemon Moon on the 3DS, and a White 2. And I believe that is it for that pawn shop. Now let's go through this $30 bin of NES stuff that was like 10.50 in the morning. Uh, Double Dragon. The less expensive Indiana Jones uh, Last Crusade, the Taito version. We have Time Lord, Ghostbusters, a uh, Major League Baseball, Pro Wrestling, that Ninja Gaiden 3, best game that's in here, uh, Gremlins 2, Punch Out, uh, Total Recall featuring the Schwartz. Freedom Force, Karate Champ, uh, surprisingly no Marios, really odd, uh, Predator, Back to the Future, Robin Hood, Karate Kid, these are all in really clean condition as well, Goonies 2, a lot of movie titles, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Bases Loaded, Roger Rabbit, uh, got Gogo 13, uh, Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, Urban Champion, Ninja Kid, Baseball Stars, and I feel like I said Kung Fu already, but Kung Fu? Oh, because there was another Kung Fu over there. But uh, Turbo Joystick is the controller in there. It literally feels like nothing. It feels like air. So, probably the worst controller ever made for the Nintendo. Just guessing. Alright, last up is this box of... Hold on, i got to move you guys real quick. Mm, there we go. The box of boxed games. Um, like I said, I didn't get the system for, the systems from him. Hopefully uh, he'll dig them out. He says that they were playing the Nintendo just recently, so it's at one of three houses, apparently. Um, but he lives right down the street from me, so I don't think I'll have trouble finding him or getting it. Uh, a brand new zapper. <clears throat> this has never been taken out of a little plastic baggie. Uh, still <clears throat> losing my voice. Sorry. Uh, still uh, twisty tied up there. 
we have a random assortment of some books, some strategy guides and stuff. I thought this was pretty cool. I've never had it. Uh, for Dragon Warrior, the strategy guide from Nintendo Power. Uh, in really nice shape. Just something kind of cool. I'm assuming that this would have originally come with the strat or the Nintendo Power, like a Nintendo Power edition, like it would have just come sitting with it. Uh, we have a random map for Willow on NES. <clears throat> uh, a Nintendo Player's Guide that I don't have. Top Secret Passwords. Uh, the Nintendo Hint Book for Lagoon. This was $7.95 at one point. Again, something I've never, never seen. Final Fantasy VII Strategy Guide. There were no PlayStation games in this whole lot. But uh, this stuff was originally not this guy's. It was acquired um, through a lady that lived in this house that they're moving into, and she just left a lot of stuff there. And this was left there. So free stuff for them. They made 200 bucks on it, and I haven't kind of you know added all up, but I felt when two or three of the games in there being complete in box were worth $200, that the whole box was definitely going to be worth 200 bucks. A uh, box SNES controller... We have uh, Castlevania. Where can I stack these without making a, making them get damaged or anything? Uh, Dungeon Master. Some of these I don't have the boxes for in my collection, which is nice, or I don't have the manual for or something. Eight Eyes. And uh, if you want to see a photo from inside this guy's house when Jeremy and myself were basically going through the boxes. Jeremy quick, took a quick little photo of the stuff sitting on the ground. It's on Twitter. It's on my Twitter account. Uh, we have Solstice, which I'll put the link to my Twitter if you've never been to it. I have a Twitter account that I don't use very often, but uh, I'll put the link to it in the About section down below. Uh, Fact Xanadu. We have the uh, little RPG strategy guide for Dragon Warrior 4. There was not a copy of Dragon Warrior 4 in this bundle, sadly. Um, I don't know if he has another, like, with those systems. Maybe there's some more boxed games with the systems, hopefully. Who knows? Uh, Final Fantasy 3 on Super. There's what's in here? Uh, a couple just cart onlys, Mario World, and a uh, Mystic Quest Final Fantasy. Uh, a Mario Duck Hunt with the manual and a little baggy. A Final Fantasy 2 manual. And a really nice condition of first Final Fantasy with everything in there. Uh, Dragon Warrior 2. Uh, the Guardian Legend. This person was a big fan of the role-playing games, obviously, for the Nintendo. And then, uh, having to reach under a table here. Star Tropics. Unfortunately, it does not have the note on the back of the manual anymore. Jeopardy! That's all I'm going to say about Jeopardy. <laughs> Nothing else. We have Immortal, uh, The Magic of Scheherazade, Rygar, I don't have this box, so that's awesome. I like that one a lot. Just the cover art's awesome on it. And Wheel of Fortune, that can just go straight with Jeopardy down there. Uh, another copy of uh, Top Secret Episode, Golgo, Golgo 13, but this one obviously complete in the box. I didn't have this one, which made me really happy. King's Quest V in such nice condition. That's awesome. I can't seem to find that game in, in really good shape ever. Legacy of the Wizard. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Heroes of the Lance. I still need Hills Far. This is really weird. I got a lot of the same games at the different places today. Because I have Wizardry here, complete in the box. I got a card only there. Very bizarre day. It was almost like these sales were connected. <laughs> like, they all, they're like, hey, come, keep going, Scott. You'll find the boxed version of this in a little while. Uh, and then the last thing in here is a possibly new in box NES Advantage. Uh, let's take a peek. I did not open it. I think that's all that was in there. Yep. Oh, there's also a bag of a couple power cables and the hookups for an RF for the, uh, uh, original Nintendo in there, so hopefully, obviously, I, I don't know what, maybe they had multiple Nintendos, because they said they were playing the Nintendo they had, so I don't know what power cable they would have been using. So yeah, this is super crisp in here. You got its little manual, and 
flip it upside down. Mm, definitely been used. It's not brand new. Has some cat hair in there underneath it, but obviously in really good shape. The box and everything is, is pristine, so this was insane. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's everything I hadn't shown you garage sale wise. One last thing to show you. Uh, took weeks to deal with this person through text messages, um, basically back and forth of, I have some games, I'm not sure if I want to sell them, maybe I will, uh, maybe I want to keep these three, finally texted me saying that, that she was ready to get rid of them, uh, she, like, she said she wanted to get rid of them all, and even after that went back and forth a few times, but we finally made a deal. Uh, I paid 95 bucks, uh, Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, Diddy Kong Racing, a Mario Kart 64, Mario Party, a really good condition uh, Game Boy Advance, the uh, Glacier version, and a Game Boy, the mini Game Boy case, which I don't have. I have a couple of like the big ones with, hold on, a Game Boy inside in really good condition. And then just a few games uh, in Hoa. Oh, I laughed when I saw this one. In Sync, get to the show. What a classic. Uh, we have a Kirby's Dreamland, a uh, Toy Story, a Super Mario World, a Super Mario Advance, two uh, Namco Museum, Tiny Toons Adventure, and one that I don't actually get very often a uh, Donkey Kong Land 3. So all of that for 95 bucks, um, and uh, like I said, this took this took weeks, probably closer to a month of going back and forth. But finally did it, and I'm, I'm happy with it. It's it's worth that to me for sure. Thank you all for watching. Um, I am I'm still like in shock from this type of day. Uh, it, it gives me hope that maybe garage sales in our area aren't completely you know wiped out and then a bust. Thank you for watching. I hope some cats walked by in this video. I feel, well, one just meowed, so that's close enough if one hasn't walked by. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to enter the random game giveaway. Um, be subscribed, thumbs up the video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you all later. Love you. Peace.